Well, I mean, the, the, the common underlying problem of substance use or disorder in general is that people are um, kind of, there's a compulsive behavior behind um, the, um, their, their, their usual behavior. And I mean, this kind of, of compulsion needs to be, uh, first of all, it needs diagnosed, it needs to be uh, identified, and then people have to be um, well forwarded to, to uh, addiction treatment, so to say. And how do you see this area developing? Is addiction on the rise or is there more awareness of the risks? Well, I mean, it's probably going in both ways. I mean, you see quite uh, large numbers or large prevalence figures among, among adolescents, of course, but it may also have to do, we are looking more closer. You know, it's not that um, people can do it uh, undetected. Uh, there are monitoring systems nowadays, there are instruments in order to, uh, for early detection of those problems. And so these are kind of mutually you know, raising the numbers. And can you give us an idea of some of the different areas around addiction that have been discussed so far at the conference? Well, we started yesterday actually uh, with a large session on, on gambling. And today we touched again on, on gambling and also gaming. But there are also other issues like uh, um, for instance, the question whether there is a, a yoga addiction, which sounds funny in the first uh, at the first look, but there may be people who are suffering from it, and, and that's the, the the most important issue. That if people suffer from it, they have to be helped. And you've mentioned that this conference has been well attended, especially after the height of the pandemic. Exactly, we have. Uh, I mean, the numbers of participants we had in the previous years it's it's outnumbered because of the i would say the pandemic effect people want to meet each other again and may and they need this exchange because it's a, a bit limited if you only see each other on uh, online on a, on a on a screen the the ex exchange is particularly important for those phd students because they have suffered most during the pandemic because they were you know had to work on their own basically and now it's uh, it's this kind of what we what the association is actually um, aims for that there is an international exchange in on, on all the subjects we are we are touching. Well, first of all, it's a big honor for us. So it's after just uh, being the center as center of excellence is responsible gaming established one year ago, we can already uh, host a conference of or an international conference and and having attendees from almost 20 countries and over 60 persons coming us it's 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 really a great success and we are very proud of that but it's especially good because it's a good possibility for the students of the university especially also phd students and the colleagues uh, to meet other experts from all over the world and change their experiences change the results and also plan uh, further collaborations in the future for the future